Welcome back to Sputnik. They called him the Force, and he was often unstoppable. British and Commonwealth middleweight champion Michael Watson was eventually hit by the immovable object, Chris Eubank, himself formerly a guest on the Sputnik. In one of the most ghastly British boxing tragedies, Michael Watson sustained brain injuries, the effect of which can never be undone, but against which the force has risen again. His book, The Biggest Fight, is a tour de force. His tours sell out, and his charity work is pure champion, earning him the MBE. Earlier this week, we welcomed him on board the Sputnik, and I began by asking him how he got into boxing. What inspired me to get involved in boxing was my hero and my inspiration, Muhammad Ali. God rest his soul. God bless, bless his soul and bless him. He gave, he gave me the determination and the inspiration I needed to get, to get involved in the sport. He's utterly transcendent, uh, of course, uh, in the sense that he probably was the most popular figure in the entire world. Without a doubt. And one of the greatest men, actually, that ever lived, not just his sporting prowess, but the stand that he made, the courage that he showed. And character. And character, charisma. He was an inspirational figure. Totally. <laughs> you saw him and you decided to pick up the, the gloves? Yes, I did. I mean, he's complete. Complete entertainer. Charisma, everything about him was awesome. Well, you, know, you met he, him, of course, in uh, in very different circumstances. We'll will come to that. When you uh, took up the sport, did you ever imagine you'd become the British champion, the Commonwealth champion? You'd become the force that you were. Yes, I did. Oh yeah. Ali got to you then. He you certainly, knew you were great. You, you know what it was? I felt the force of the spirit dwelling within me. Oh, yeah? In my spin. The force of the spirit dwelled well within me. I thought it made me the force, the real force. Well, the force was uh, with you. As I say, you were, you were unstoppable until that ghastly uh, night. I thank God myself mm. I was not there, though I saw you fight mm. many other people. Uh, I mean, there's no point in, in picking over all the details, and that might be painful anyway to you. But the British Boxing Board of Control were grossly deficient, uh, both in the preparations they made for such an eventuality, and even when it came to it, they couldn't pay you what the judge ordered them to pay you because right. they were not insured. It was but shocking, shocking levels, really. Very neglected in many areas. Yeah. I mean, I thank God for saving my life. It's truly amazing. I'm alive today, at this present moment. You know, it's a miracle while I'm still alive. Yeah. I, 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 I could have banned the border control outrightly. So... Anyway, there you are uh, in the hospital and you get a visit from your hero, the man that inspired you into boxing yes. in the first place. Tell us about that. It's amazing, George, because from my darkest moment of my life, when I was suffering true depression, I, I've given up hope because I, I, I couldn't talk. I'm not going to walk. It was the darkest moment of my time. My look who come to break from broke, broke through the barriers of giving me the determination and, and, and the inspiration I need at that present moment. The great Muhammad Ali. The one who brought, put a smile on my face in my, dark, in my darkest moments of my life. What did he say to you? He said to me, you're a winner. And I'm very proud of you and everything will be all right. Just to show how powerful, powerful words are. Those that gave me the determination and brought back my fighting spirit. Those few words inject, inject it, created someone that gave me so much strength. 
that made me want to run back today. It is extraordinary because those not uh, only can work you... from a great man like him yeah. made me stronger. Well, from then, not only can you walk, you did the London Marathon, not only can you talk, you are on television now, uh, and they may even be making a film about you. Uh, I don't know if you want to go into that, but please, if you do, then you're welcome. Your book is a bestseller. People queue up for your tour uh, events, and you've performed miracles for brain and spinal injury charities. Yes. You've done all that from flat on your back, losing the will to live, and Muhammad Ali helped you get off that bed and do all that. My, my life is truly amazing. I'm here for a purpose. And that purpose is to, is to inspire the helpless souls in life. Give, the, give the, the, help, the hopeless hope to let them know if I can do it, so can they. Now, do you still follow the fight game? Yes, I do. You haven't turned against boxing because of what happened to you? It's boxing has made me who I'm of today. And it's boxing that has made Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali who he's of today. God rest his soul. And, and even with Chris Eubank, I believe you did the marathon with him, didn't you? He did the finish, yeah, he came, he did the finish. Chris Eubank with... did, did the marathon with, with me. Yeah? Yes, he did. He struggled, but he completed the course. <laughs> he struggled. Well, he, he struggled, struggled but he completed it. <laughs> you and Chris are friends? Uh, there is no animosity. That's amazing. It, 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 it was no fault of him. It was the ropes. It was the bottom rope that was too low, loose. And so I put the board on, it's the board to blame. Yeah. Of those slack ropes. Because when I fell on ropes, the ropes that formed the injury on my skull, it catapulted back into my skull. Yeah. That's what happened. That's what formed yeah. the damage. Yeah. Now, what about the uh, the current scene? Who, who who do you admire in the current boxing scene? Tyson Fury. He is an amazing... Uh... He's got a beautiful left hand. Yeah. Left hand, and, and, and he's improving. He really is an amazing man. Yeah, I, I, and he, and I'm with you on that. I think he's he, number one. And he's very spiritual. Mm. I've never met him, uh, but in the ring... Yeah, have you uh, met him? Yes. Yeah? yeah? And how was he like? Well, we're like brothers. Wonderful. Oh, yeah? He, you know, Tyson Fury, he touched my heart. I've never met uh, Tyson Fury. I'm, I'm massively impressed he, by him he, as a he, boxer. He, What's he, he like? He, he tr he's truly the gentleman. And I love him so. He's, he's, he's very godly. And a blessed soul. He, he, he called me a brother. And he took you to Vegas? He, he wanted me to go, go to Vegas to watch his fight. At his he expense? Got, 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 <laughs> at his expense, yes. <laughs> I've had that invitation from no other fighter for Tyson Fury. Well, who else? Who else on the uh, British and world scene impresses you? What about AJ? AJ, he's a wonderful man. Oh, I love AJ, you know, but just needs to be around the right, right people in life. You know, he's got a lot, a lot, a lot of potential that, that needs to be utilised. But he needs the right people to be around him. I'll be there for AJ any time to give him the advice he needs. He needs me to be around him. Mm. Well, I'm sure he'll watch that's, this uh, that's interview. Need. Maybe you'll get a call uh, <laughs> from uh, him. Now, you, you're an MBE. Frankly, if it was up to me, you'd be in the House of Lords. Uh, the work that you do for these charities is utterly amazing. I mean, f an absolutely able-bodied person could not work harder mm. than you have for these. Uh, 
How does it feel, first of all, to be an MBE, a member of the British Empire, especially as your family were the British yeah. Empire? <laughs> <laughs> you know, George, it's good to have label. Well, it's good to practice. It's, it's good to portray that role in reality. I'll, I'll, I'll live my life in love for the humanity. That's what I love. I love humanity. I, 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 love, to be, I love to be called people champion. And that's who I am. So people can get your book. It's a magnificent book with one of the very best titles. And titles are important in books. It's truly the one big fight ever. Fight for survival. Yeah, exactly. It's an, you're on the tour again. Where, where are the next dates? Tell me that first. December 6th. 6th of December. In Leeds? Yeah, that's in Leeds, yes. Yeah. I think, uh, I think tickets should go well for that. If we're up north, we'll come and see it uh, ourselves. Be there. The book? Be there. Michael Watson, the film, Fighting. the book, the story, the force. You're an epic man. You'll always be a champion to me. Michael Watson, thanks thank, for thank coming. Thank you very much, George. On board the Sputnik. God bless. Thank you. And now it's your turn to tell us what you think through the portals of social media. What's rattling, Gayatri? Right, so we tweeted uh, about Michael Watson. Yeah. He could have been a contender if mm. only they looked out for him. And Shen says, people's champion and inspiration to millions. James O'Brien says, best in his divisions so far. And Ben Kavanagh says, he was always the people's champ. He was uh, very, very popular. I saw him fight Nigel Benn, actually. It was a master class, an epic uh, fight. And uh, he was definitely the people's champion. I must say, whilst I'm uh, full of admiration for the way that he's fought back against the near fatal injuries, oh, unbelievable. Uh, it breaks my heart a bit that, you know, he has to struggle uh, in life. And uh, the Boxing Board of Control left him out of pocket from the money he was awarded uh, by the court. Yeah, it was a disgrace. And the game itself should rally round him, make his life good, as good as it can possibly be. The fellow be. boxers, you mean? Yeah, I mean, he could have been a contender, as you say. Uh, they need to look out for him. Well, that's all the time we've got for the tweets today. Which, alas, means that's the end of the show. But you can stay in touch with us on our social media, on Twitter and Instagram, it's RT underscore Sputnik, or on Facebook, Sputnik on Russia Today. It's goodbye from me, Gayatri. And from me, George Galloway, it's been marvellous.